Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then welcome to my channel. Today's video is really exciting because I'm trying some supremely exciting stuff. I have new sunstick from Vaseline, my first sunstick by the way. I have some Kaja Beauty products, yes, the stamp blush that we have been seeing everywhere on TikTok, Instagram is finally on purple. I picked up three products, their eye stack this one right here their blush and their lipstick that's exactly what i have on my face today so we are trying these three products from kaja beauty and then i also have this tinted foundation from la girl absolutely loved how this turned out it looks so clean fresh but colorful it was a nice change for me from all the neutral looks that i've been doing but still kept it very clean and fresh love how this turned out so if you are interested then please continue watching Okay, I'm really excited about today's video, not just because I have um, exciting products today. Can I tell you, I was waiting for Kaja Beauty to launch in India, especially their stamp blush. I've been waiting and it's finally here, but I'm also going to make this video a little bit chatty. Um, I just want to, you know, I was waiting to do that in a different video. Uh, just like a chit chat get ready with me but that's not happening so i'm gonna make this one a little bit chatty not too much anyways let's first get started with this product right here this is the vaseline uv protection sun stick um spf 50 pa 4 plus As also i am sorry if the lighting is a little bit off it's raining constantly in bangalore so it is what it is this is how it looks like it's quite handy and nice and i only wish this was a little bit more tighter it does not feel like it's um shutting down so nicely i hope it doesn't come loose in your bag or something but then you have this protective cover on top which is nice i'll just have to make sure that i don't lose it because i am very famous for doing that and there is your sun stick it's this yellowish translucent sort of a stick now i don't have experience with sun sticks i've never used one before so this is going to be my first one and i also don't know what to expect but i do know for a fact that you are supposed to pass this on any area of your face multiple times to get the spf protection that this claims so i'm going to start with my forehead first Okay, um, does feel a little bit waxy right now, but I am not going to touch it. I'm going to give it a few minutes and then see how that feels on the skin. Ow, probably not so good. If you have active acne, I don't think I have active acne. These are just, these have healed, but it still was painful there. So be careful if you have active acne. Okay, this side I have two active acne, so I'm really, really worried. Ow, 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 okay. I'm not gonna pass that on top of the active acne. Okay, my face feels um, kind of waxy. I'm gonna give it a few minutes, of course, and maybe by the end of the video, I'm gonna try this on top of my makeup once my makeup is all set in place to see how this applies on top of makeup because I know the whole appeal of a product like this is for you to be able to apply your sunscreen on top of makeup so I'll do that as well uh, so far the only con I think is that you cannot apply this if you have active acne and if you want to then you have to be very very careful mm, it feels very waxy still so I'm gonna come back in like a few minutes and I'll tell you how this feels after that. So it's been a few minutes now. Also, I had to increase the brightness because it's getting gloomier and gloomier, but it still feels the same way. Like it still feels waxy. Um, I'm not sure if I over applied, but I am sure that if I apply makeup on top of this, it's gonna slip and slide. So I am just going to pat it with my finger and see if that helps. Um, it feels okay now but it's still not the kind of feeling I want. 
right before I go in with my foundation but I'm gonna proceed anyways next up I have the LA girl tinted foundation this launched on hawk makeup and i picked this up this is in the shade medium beige i've tried it once and i wasn't blown away particularly it says foundation but it says tinted foundation so in my head i was expecting this to be um, sort of like a light to medium coverage but i found very 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 little coverage with this one so i'm gonna give it another go today I'm not saying it's a bad product, but I was just expecting slightly more coverage from this one. But it does say that it is buildable, which I've not tried so far. I've only used like a thin, tiny layer. Tiny? Thin layer. <laughs> so I'm going to try building, building, building this up. <laughs> I'm going to try building this up today and see if it's actually buildable or not. Also, I think the shade is slightly off. When I say slightly off, I mean like it's not yellow toned or I don't know. I don't like such cool toned base product on me. But I am open to trying this again. I will start blending this with my foundation brush from Real Techniques RT200. So you guys saw that in action and like I was saying before, I am not a fan of the coverage with first layer at least. It barely covered the redness. Forget the marks, of course. It's a tinted foundation so I'm not expecting it to cover marks. But it's almost giving me like a skin tint vibe. The kind of vibe I get from let's say Blue Heaven skin tint. It gives a very similar sort of uh, finish, not finish, the coverage. But I'm going to try building this up once and see if that helps. Okay, so I think I almost did three fine layers, not heavy layers. And it does seem to be buildable, but of course it's not, again, anywhere near medium coverage. Even if you build it up, it goes from skin tint to a BB cream coverage, which I am not mad at. Now I think it looks good, but the only thing is I'll have to build this up to get it to this coverage. Uh, but I am pretty okay with that. Now for concealer, powder, bronzer, have nothing new. Do I? No, nothing new. So I'll finish that and I'll be back to try some interesting product. I was powdering my face and I just realized that I told you I'll make this chatty and I have not talked about anything yet. So yesterday, not yesterday, but like a few days back when I was editing my wedding shopping vlog, I realized that, you know, I am showing you wedding shopping and I've not even talked about when is the wedding. So here it goes. It's in November. I don't know. I'm not going to give away the dates just yet. I'll give you the dates very soon, uh, but it's in November and um yeah it's just it's just tough you know it's tough uh to have an upload schedule um i was really doing well with my upload just in case you have been following me from the start of this year i was doing really well you guys were happy i was happy but then with all the wedding shopping deciding the venue finalizing the venue and all the madness that comes along with it my upload schedule has gone for a toss so i am trying to balance it so let's say if one weekend i am doing wedding stuff second weekend i plan and film videos edit videos and those kind of stuff so that's where i'm at right now um with wedding and everything so now i have powdered my face i think i'll bronze later on because my skin still feels very very tacky from that sunscreen i'll definitely have to powder it and i don't want to powder it just yet because i have again liquid blushes to try so by the way i received this elite what is this called no sorry this is splurge on purple bag 
this is how I received all my Kaja Beauty products which I was really happy about because look at the pouch it's so cute so I have three products and before I start with the application let's just quickly appreciate the cardboard packaging it's so aesthetically pleasing look at that it's this ombre this goes from pink to blue this is their what is this again eyeshadow trio then this is the blush stamp blush and this is the lip product they had one more product um, i think it was this stamp stamp eyeliner and then a liquid pen liner combination i didn't get that one because it just did not make sense for me to spend almost 1600 something on eyeliner duo uh, i think that's something that will be handy for beginners so skip that but i did pick up all three products and this is the very very famous blush the stamp blush so this is how you open that and i have not opened this yet i'll try that and this one you have to twist it and there you have the stamp look at how pristine white that is i don't even know what shade of blush this is so i'm gonna quickly take off the film let's do that together oh my god um this takes a little bit longer than i thought it would there. Ooh, that's a beautiful shade that's a beautiful shade okay 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 ah, excited um wow let's let's dig in oh i'm gonna dirty this come on Akriti, you have to do this okay so cute let's try on this side now okay um i'm just gonna multi-stamp because why not right I'm going to blend with my same foundation brush. So you can see this is more of a sheer coverage blush. You're not going to have like crazy pigmentation with one layer on. Um, but that's okay. I really appreciate those kinds of blush as well. But I will go with one more layer. I'm loving this experience very honestly. Let's blend that out. Oh, the color is beautiful. Such a pretty color. It really does look like I'm flushing from within or blushing from within. Ah, oh, wow. So many years doing or trying new products, but I still get excited over such cute stuff. Wow, that clicked so beautifully. I love the packaging. Okay, this blush is. 10 on 10 i would highly recommend but let's try out some other products as well so i picked up this um eyeshadow trio and i wanted a different shade but basically they have four variants in this and two of them were sold out um so i had to choose from the two that was available now this one uh, had a mix of matte and shimmers and the other one which was available had only shimmers of course i wanted a mix of both by the way just look at the packaging how cute that is that is pretty that is so pretty let's open that i've not seen how the color palette looks like oh okay there was a film wow that is pretty then how do i open this like this okay that's matte right yep that's a matte pink pink or orange pinky orange i guess and then this oops this is again a matte shade so i think this will go very well oh my god i just dug my nail into this <gasps> i hate it when that happens but i think this will go really really well with this top that i'm wearing today let's start with this shade first as an all over color i like the pigmentation on this because with such hot bold colors 
if it's too pigmented it can look patchy and it can be difficult to blend but the pigmentation i find that it's just right it's not very less and it's not very very high pigmentation wise so i'm able to build that up and customize it and i think i'll go with this color on my lids first and then with the help of the darker color i'll make a liner situation let's see how that looks but oh that is pretty that's pretty right that's beautiful i see that this is something my sister will love she doesn't like very mainstream shadows she likes these kind of shadows so when i say shadows i mean colors not shadows i mean colors now let's use the darker color the purple this one and create a liner So I really like how that's looking. I wasn't expecting it to look so pretty all together. Uh, to finish off the eye look, I'll use this liner from Forever 52 and I'll create like a very, 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 very thin line very close to my lash line because I don't want to take away from the color that's going on on my eyes. Okay, can I just say I'm in love with this eye look now i think this is going to be my go-to everyday eye look when i want to do something colorful because it's nice to step out of your comfort zone i've been doing neutrals for months now and i think this is such a beautiful change i love it um, also you can add lashes and make it more glamorous but because i'm going for more of a clean look clean and simple look i'm gonna skip lashes and i will use my max stack mascara instead because this is stunning this is stunning Ooh, with mascara it looks even prettier it always does isn't it now for the last product we have this lip stick what is this called by the way this is a moisture melt lip gloss stick and i picked this up in the shade crazy for you 03 this is like a brownie shade that i think will look nice um, I always go with safer options when it comes to lipstick because I never wear pinks and reds. Reds maybe sometimes but pinks not so much. So again this is how the packaging looks like and you have this heart shaped tip that looks stunning again and you're supposed to click it. Honestly I'm not a fan of anything which i have to click because it takes so much time and effort and patience but i have enough product out so let's try this mm, this smells incredible wow wow this is gliding on so beautifully It's not that brown. I think it's more like a peachy brown. It does not look anything like in the packaging, does it? Maybe it does and I'm going crazy. But it's not something I would wear by itself because I think it's washing me out a little bit. So I will add something darker on the outside or on the outside of my lips. And I think it will come together really well. Uh, so I will finish that i'll be back and we will try that sunscreen on top maybe on like one section of my face i don't want to ruin this beautiful makeup because i have to take pictures and also do my intro um okay let me quickly recap everything before i try sunscreen on top so the sunscreen i don't think i'll use this underneath my makeup because my makeup still feels slightly heavy and I have set my face entirely but it still feels um, tacky and I am not liking how it's feeling on the skin. Uh, so I think this would be nice for touch-ups, when I say touch-ups for when you want to apply sunscreen on top of your makeup. Again, we will test that out in a minute. This foundation, what is this again, tinted foundation from LA Girl is good, it's buildable yes but it's very light coverage even when you build it up so if you already have a nice bb cream that you love so much i don't think 
this is worth investing in but this does have some good claims like uh, with added panthenol vitamin e and ginseng root extract so if that is something that you like in your makeup you like skincare ingredients which i also have been really into then i think you will like this you will like applying this knowing that this has certain skincare benefits also i think i read somewhere that this is fragrance free um yeah paraben plus fragrance free so again if that is something that you are looking for i think this is a good option it's not bad by any means just know that the coverage is light now this blush where did it go this one is incredible it is so natural um it's something that you would like wearing for an everyday basis as well it's not looking like a blush it's very very natural looking and blended beautifully it's light coverage so if you are somebody who is conscious of having like blushed cheeks this is not going to look like that by any means like you can see i've layered it twice and it still looks very very natural this one i was pleasantly surprised at first i i wanted a you know neutral color story in this one it was out of stock was bummed bought it anyways thinking let's just try let's see what happens and i'm so happy that it was out of stock because i would have never picked this color up and it's so fun vibrant fresh looking gave me a really nice clean look again you can glam it up by adding lashes or do like a really intense look pigmentation is just right it's not patchy um the purple uh, color that i used as liner is also showing up the shimmer is nice so again if you are into these type of handy throw it in your purse stackable sort of products i think you will like this what else this lip stick situation i think you will only like it if you are into glossy lips which again i think right now everybody is into it's really pretty i'm not sure how well this will last but i again like it a lot um uh, the coverage is nice for how shiny it is generally shiny lip products don't have nice coverage but it covered my lips completely and with a dark lip liner i think it it looks really nice and fresh again so i think kaja beauty products are wonderful if you are into makeup and if you like collecting such stuff you wouldn't be disappointed because the product also is really really nice um okay so now let's try that sunscreen on one small area of my face like i said i have to shoot the intro so let's see i am curious to see if this you know removes my makeup at all i think i'm going to do it here over here okay let's let's do that oh can you see that's so waxy i don't know if you can see on camera but that is wax see that's waxy um and here is the stick can you see that okay this did pick up some of my makeup mostly hair why do i have hair on this stick i'm not sure but like you can see there's a little bit of makeup let's do one more pass maybe on this side and see if it picks any makeup i think it's not showing so much because i have very light coverage foundation on if i have more heavy duty coverage foundation then i'm sure it will pick more product on this You see my hair is sticking on my face that's how waxy my face is still Hmm it's not picking up that much It's not clear yes it's not clear but it's also not picking up that much The only problem is I don't like how this feels on my skin you know but it's definitely not something I'll wear underneath my makeup to begin with i think i'll stick to my regular sunscreens but that finishes this video i enjoyed filming it so much i'm super excited about those kaja beauty products i cannot wait to use that blush again and this eye look i'm definitely doing it the next time i'm going out i'll wear something similar i think it looks so nice i'm so happy today um but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed again please let me know your recommendations of some sun sticks that you have tried that is not so waxy 
um that's all i hope you guys enjoyed if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up you can subscribe to the channel you can click on the bell notification right next to it you can follow me on insta right over here and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye